Hello, welcome to my video on critical values. In this video, we're going to talk about what critical values are and how do we use them. So a critical value of a function is a number, x equals c, so it's going to be an x value, in the domain such that, now, f prime of c equals 0. What that means is that the slope is 0 there. Or you have a critical value where the derivative does not exist. Now, at this point, uh, at these spots, usually they're corners or they're vertical tangent lines. Now let's identify all the critical values in these graphs. Now again, recall that f prime of c is 0, that means slopes is 0, or when the derivative doesn't exist, so at these two things, corners and vertical tangent lines. So here we go. We have a slope of 0 at this point. So I'm going to label that c1. We have a slope of 0 here that's going to be c2. We have a slope of 0 here, so that's c3. So these are all critical values. Here's a spot where the derivative does not exist, so I'm going to call that c4. Here we have a slope of 0, so I'm going to call that c5. And finally again, c6. Now when you take a look at this graph, we have something strange happening right here. At this point, the derivative does not exist, and it's because it's a vertical tangent line. If you were to draw a tangent line through that point, you'd notice that it goes vertical. So this is also a critical value. So now, why do we care about critical values? Because they help us determine local maxes and local minimums. So if you take a look at this graph, notice that at this point here, Okay, we're, our function is increasing, and then after that point, it is decreasing. That's called a local max. This point right here would be the local max. Now over here, our function is decreasing, and then it turns around and begins to increase. That's a local min. Now here, you're decreasing. You go to slope of 0, and then you decrease again. Well, that's just nothing, so we don't really care about that one. But here, these are important. Now, look, again, local max would be when you, you know, you look at the graph and it's pretty much a peak. And then down here, it's a dip. So Fermat's theorem states that if f of x has a local max or a local min at x equals c, and the derivative exists, then the slope has to be 0. f prime of c is 0. So the fact that it says f prime of c must exist means that you can't have corners and you can't have vertical tangent lines because at those two places the derivative doesn't exist. So if you go back to this, look at all the places that we just said had local maxes right here and notice that we have a slope of 0. We have a local min here, slope of 0, and we have a local max, slope of 0. All right. These points are still local ma or that's a local min, but again the derivative doesn't exist, so it doesn't satisfy this. So now if you're looking for local extrema, which is maxes or mins, you start by looking at the critical values. Which is what we did here, we found slopes of 0 and places where the derivative doesn't exist. All of those are my potential maxes and mins. Now we have this warning, just because f prime of c equals 0, meaning a slope is 0, or that the derivative doesn't exist, doesn't mean it's a local max or min. So going back to this, sorry, right here we have a slope of 0, f prime of c equals 0, but it's not a local max or min. Okay, it flattens out, but then it goes back down again. So it doesn't have a peak or a dip. Here we have the derivative not exist, but it's clearly not a max or min. Our function's going up, and then it just keeps going up. So again, no max, no min. So summary, critical values help us determine where the potential max and mins are. You would find them by finding the c values, x values, where the derivative doesn't exist, sorry, equals zero, and then when the derivative does not exist. So at these two places. 
Once you identify all the critical values, you would then use the first derivative test, which is going to be covered in a different video, but this test will then tell us which of those critical values, without looking at a graph, by the way, are local maxes and mins.